hello guys welcome to my channel Ora Tricks but uh, from now onwards we are going to say this I'm giving a new name to my channel that is Oracle Apex Academy as you all have you know noticed that I've changed the name of my uh, channel that is uh, Oracle Apex Academy and I have registered it so from onwards we are going to have uh, Oracle Apex Academy so all the videos will be under that and today uh, I'm here to uh, uh, with one more video and uh, this is going going to be uh, you know a series as we have uh, already uh, one on the particular application that we have built uh, that was the library management system okay uh, so I'm planning to have the same uh, thing but with the new uh, application and this time it would be an shopping cart right so before going further I uh, I will uh, you know just uh, give you a small demo on the application which I have built right so that you can uh, get aware about uh, how the things are going and you can see the views and soon I will upload uh, some more videos or all the explanation that how this is system is being implemented and so on further before I you know uh, start uh, explaining this particular uh, thing to you I would like to uh, say that as you all are uh, aware that the channel name is changed that is Oracle Apex Academy you can also visit oracleapexacademy.com and uh, I have started uh, to train people on uh, different technologies including uh, you know Oracle Apex so anyone if you have any requirement on training uh, then uh, kindly contact us so that we can uh, you know provide you a better option okay fine so uh, let me just take you towards this one so today I'll give you a small uh, you know a tour of the application which I have built that is absolutely uh, for the you know uh, end user uh, who can uh, you know place an order onto your website and uh, uh, for the admin panel also so that they can add the product onto the uh, you know environment okay fine uh, so let me just uh, create account uh, so uh, once you log in into your uh, environment so you need to have uh, some products right so let me login into the admin account so this is the admin account I have kept it as simple as possible uh, so here uh, you can create some categories right so we have different kinds of categories as far as you know that uh, computers and uh, you know uh, that's uh, under some hard drives there some shoes are there uh, saris for women and etc so this is the place where we are going to create some categories under those categories we are going to create some products right so as far as the product is concerned I have kept the product ID this uh, you uh, whatever you have created uh, under the last categories uh, this will be listed over here and then you uh, need to uh, enter this uh, product code name price and uh, pictures of that uh, product color and size and etc so once you've done that uh, you will see once you you know upload any item onto uh, your uh, let's say let us just create uh, one product for, for this one but hello oh no, not slate uh, let, we'll do it later and all the products already were there and uh, if you get any order so this will be listed over here you, okay so whatever the orders you are getting that will be listed over here so this is just, just a simple architecture for the administration uh, part and let me just now take you to the user part so this is the home page of the application where you know ha you have the categories right I have this computer categories man and women you know and ethnic wherein man homes and kitchen you can set as per your requirement so once you click on this let's say uh, shoes and if you click on this show more it will redirect you to all the product under that particular category so that will be your uh, search result so here you can see that two products are there and you also are able to see the all the available products into our cart right so uh, let's say currently uh, I'm logged in as uh, this user so I'm adding a particular product let me just uh, click on this add to cart so as you can see product ID is there and if I select the quantity would be five then automatically this total amount uh, would be reflected let me just click on add to cart so that item is added to my cart now 
and uh, further I can you know uh, add some more item also so let me just add this one so now currently my cart contain two items so let me just add one more item okay and it would be one and add to cart okay once you finish it you just need to click on this place order right so once every you know uh, like uh, total and everything is coming so total order is coming I've not provided the shopping ad shipping address but I just click on this confirm order and the order will be placed successfully and my cart will become zero okay so we are uh, logging out of the system and uh, hope you uh, like this video and the system and uh, if you wanted to you know uh, learn everything uh, how to uh, I'm, I have implemented all these things then uh, I'll definitely try to you know uh, um, upload uh, uh, s all the videos very very soon but uh, it might be possible that you know it takes some time but uh, still uh, stay connected and soon I'll be uploading uh, you know uh, entire video series on uh, implementation of this uh, e-commerce uh, application in Oracle application express thank you thank you so much